Hey Fly Tires, welcome back. I'm Matt, and thank you for stopping by the channel. Now this next pattern, I'm calling it the Golden Stone Girdle Bug. You won't find this in any books out there. I kind of made it up. I mean, I'm not claiming to have invented a new fly. It's just a mix of two pretty popular flies, a girdle bug and Pat's rubber legs. But I needed a fly to take out to Idaho next week. So I haven't fished this thing yet, but I'm gonna give it a shot out there. I'll let you know how it goes. I think it'll be effective anywhere you'd fish a girdle bug or a golden stonefly nymph. It's pretty cool looking. I think you're gonna like it. Let's make it. There it is in the vise, the golden stone girdle bug. Now there is no common size for this fly. I'm tying it on a size 10, 2X long nymph hook. If I had a size eight, I would probably go to that, but I didn't have this hook in an eight. But I am putting down some weight. This is 020, almost the full length of the shank. Now I am going to use black 70 denier UTC. I'll put a little down behind it, take a few wraps over the top, secure it up front, and then bring it back to the tail. Okay, let's do this tail. What I am doing, I am using, this is a barred pumpkin silly legs. Now any rubber legs you have, a girdle bug typically uses white legs, and then Pat's rubber legs uses some kind of brown or, or a barred, but I think anything brown or darkish would look fine on this pattern. So I'm going to tie the first one in on one side. See that nub sticking up right there? You could probably bury that, but it'd take you about eight minutes because these things just bounce all over the place, so I've been cutting them off. Okay, I've got one tied on the side, and I'm going to snip this off a little bit longer than I need and then tie in on this side. And do the same thing, just try to catch this one in. If you need to snip it, go ahead and snip it. Got a little nub in there. I think I can probably snip that better than I can bury it, so there we go. Okay, now take a look. Make sure you're coming off both sides. I think I am right there, and if they're coming off two splayed what you can do is just pull them back a little bit not tight and then put a medium wrap or so back here i don't necessarily have to do that because i like that angle they're coming off of right there now before we move on what you want to do is grab both of them together and give it a little pull not tight just a slight bit of tension here and then snip it off about a hook shank in length So there we go, that's our tail. Now we're gonna tie in the chenille. And I'm gonna use a size small. This is a yellow, it's a size small. You could use a size medium, but with all this weight on here, if you did a medium, it might start getting a little bit too bulky. If you tied it without the weight and you fish with split shots, yeah, sure, use some medium. So catch this in all the way back to where you started the, the tail and then bring it back up here to about the just forward of the the hook point is what I've been doing and I'm going to tie on my first pair of legs right here so I'm using that same pumpkin colored silly legs I'm just going to lay it on try to lay it on perpendicular to your your hook right here and I'm going to do X wraps so there's one switch hands with my bobbin and there's another one so it's not tight it's one X wrap holding it on, get it situated, kind of coming off perpendicular, and now take another wrap right here, and another one. So then bring your thread up, take a look at it, they're coming off perpendicular, I like that. So just up here where you, before you end the weight, we're gonna do the exact same thing with the front pair of legs. Okay, after you've got one X wrap on, check your position. What I should have done, I should have gone ahead and trimmed this back one a little closer to size before I did this front one. It would have just made wrapping the front one a little easier. 
So I think I'm good with that. So I'm going to do another X wrap behind and then in front of this pair of legs right here. Still, you can still adjust them if necessary. Now take your thread up here to where we're going to finish it. Take a look at them. They're coming off pretty perpendicular. They're too long right now, but we will trim them in one of the later steps. So one of the cool things with the chenille is you can position these legs, use the chenille wraps to help position the legs of how you want them. So I don't really want them canted forward. I want them canted just slightly aft. So here's my decision here. Do I put one more wrap behind those legs and it might end up pushing them forward or I'm going to go with the next wrap just right in front of them and that wrap will kind of help push them back. So you see those back legs, they're angled just slightly back, which I like that better than just slightly forward. So go on up here and do the same thing for the front pair of legs. Okay, that one's wanting to poke up a little bit on me, but you know what, I can live with that. Finish your wrap up front. Those legs, they look okay right there. And two wraps to catch off this chenille. Go ahead and snip this. Whoa, look at all that fuzz. Quick blow took care of most of that. Now, just make sure you're not crowding your eye, and in this case, we're not. So I'm going to pull some of this chenille back, go right up to the eye, and then build a little ramp back up doesn't take much, you don't need a big head, but I don't use head cement on these, so I'll make a, a fairly substantial head right there, and just two whip finishes. Yeah, you could put head cement on it, but when you do, you have to be careful because it will start wicking into that chenille, which is kind of a mess. So we're almost done, just one more step after this whip finish. is trimming our legs. So situate them a little bit better if you want. I think those are just a little bit too long. So I'm going to take it just a little bit off of these bottom ones right here and then a little bit off of this top one right here. So what you kind of have an option here. The smaller the legs, the more realistic it will look, but the less movement they'll have through the water. So just just pick a, a medium, you know, between too short of legs and too long of legs. And I think this combination right here works just fine. So there you go. The golden stone girdle bug, a very simple tie. When I'm not talking about it and filming it, I can knock these out in about three minutes. So that's all folks. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time. <laughs> oh, God, I suck. I can't just, I, I'm just always saying the wrong shit. So, uh, oh, damn it, got chili on his shirt too. Where if you can see that in the video. I can't see it in the tiny little monitor over there. So I think we're probably good. Let's give it a shot. Let's do this thing. <laughs> Let's tie this fly. Let's make it. Um, yeah, we're good. If not, ah, screw it. I'm done. Done for the night. Let's wrap it up.